Yeah, I mean, just any time you can help contribute, especially in a comeback win like this one's huge. But I mean, I think it just speaks for our team's character, uh, being down what we were and coming back and winning. I mean, any time I can get back in the lineup and you know, produce and you know help the team out in any way, whether it's you know just a solid couple shifts here and there. But I mean, just to get wins is nice when you're in the lineup. From a team perspective, you guys have come back in games before, but not quite, you know, gotten the win. Is it a, a big moment for you guys to be able to, you know, get over that hump and close this one out? Yeah, I just think it just shows a lot about each guy in the room. I mean, it was a gut check moment for us, and we proved through that second and third that, you know what, we can do it. I think it just speaks volumes about the leadership in our room. I mean, Kopi just showing, you know, his night with three points, and, you know, just Dewey out there is just being so talkative and just so helpful. So, I mean, it's just top to bottom, I think it was huge for us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Carlin Bates. Matt, in the second period um, on your goal, Kopitar was still out there on his shift, and in your lines out there as well. As puck or the puck finds your stick from him, would you walk or would you look up and see him? What are the thoughts running through your mind as he's out there with your line? Uh, the funny thing was when I gave it to him there, I kind of was like, oh, I should go change for Brownie. And then something in my head was like, just do a little button hook. Like, there was a little bit of a hole, and I mean, luckily it worked out. So, I mean, uh, it's pretty cool to say Anze Kopitar assisted one of my goals when all said and done. But, I mean, it's just a huge goal, and I think, uh, you know, just it's just huge. It's huge for you, too, because you, you find yourself back in the lineup tonight. You always seem to make an impression when you do. How hard have you been working to, to get back into this position and, and become just a regular part of this lineup? Uh, just, you know what, just haven't really changed much. Just believe in myself. I mean, you know what, my parents have been huge. I've just been talking to them and just working through everything. So, I mean, you know what, you know, i got good friends back home, too. Just, you know what, when we're uh, doing whatever, you know, with my Xbox crew, like, we're not really talking about it. We're just keeping it light. And, I mean, so, I mean, it's just huge. I mean, I can't really explain. It's kind of a good feeling just to, uh, you know, trust myself throughout the whole thing. Thank you so much. Thank Keep you. up the great work. Thanks. Any more questions for me? Uh, one more from Andrew Hall. Yeah, I'll offer you. Uh, you mentioned the uh, the gut check moment for the guys and, and Kopi's night. Just want to ask, um, you know, when, when you have your captain going like that, uh, does it carry maybe a little bit extra weight? And um, you know, you guys are accustomed to seeing this from Kopi, but uh, do you think that these kind of nights are the kinds that are going to get him the, the national recognition he deserves? I mean, to me, Kopitar is a Hall of Famer through uh, it all. I think f for being, you know what, everything for the Kings, he's t like probably the best player in the game next to a couple other guys. But I mean, you know, I think uh, you look up and down the league, I don't think any team would have want him as your number one center. I think he just does so much on and off the ice for us. And, you know, he's just one of those guys you can always turn to. And he's just one of the guys that's been helping me a lot through uh, – this past year and a bit and just making sure you know what i'm confident and just you no know, not like just throwing away pucks on onto it so i mean what he does just off the ice for us young guys is huge so i think uh how he isn't recognized directly i think you know those people aren't really paying attention to hockey